Hello guys, my name is Jesper Nissen, and in this video, I will show you how to create your IBM cloud account. So let's uh, start by going to, yeah, let's start by going to Google and uh, let's start by searching for IBM cloud. Uh, let's see here. And then you need to select this guy here, cloud.ibm.com. So I will select it. So you have the uh, option to log into your IBM cloud or to create an account. And obviously we will uh, create an account. So we're signing in with our IBM ID. No, we're, we're creating an account. And uh, okay, so I need to enter my email. So this is why I will use this one. And then I tabulate out. And then I need to create a password. Uh, let's see, uh, 12 to 63 characters, one uppercase, one lowercase. If I can create something I can remember again. So now it's uh, sending me an email for ver verification. So let me hop over to, we send a seven digit verification code to this Gmail. The code is valid for 30 minutes. So I'll just hop over to my mail. I'll just click pause. And I uh, copy the verification code from my email. Next. So I need to uh, type in my personal information. I live in Denmark, next. Uh, account notice, IBM may use my contact data. I'll just you know, click accept, continue. And then there's a lot of, uh, you know, information about account privacy. And yes, of course, I acknowledge all of this. I understand and click continue. So it's creating my account now. Let's see what happens. Preparing the next step. Let's see what it says. Still working on it. As far as I can remember, the next step that's coming now is for me to enter my credit card. Secure your account. You're asked to verify your identity by entering credit confirmation. Yes. <clears throat> so register with the code. I don't know what that is. Uh, uh, so I, I don't think I have a code. Anyway, the account type is company. Company name is my company name in here in Denmark. Next. <clears throat> Billing information is, of course, the address of the company. And uh, you can see that it says here in address line one, the billing address associated with your credit card. And IBM Cloud is special compared to all the all of, all of the other cloud providers because IBM, uh, they are quite picky uh, about uh, how they approve your account. <clears throat> so they actually go in to check the, your credit card and your physical address and your company address, they check all of these uh, ID, uh, items, all of these details, and none of the other cloud providers actually check this. So let me just type out my correct address so there are no mistakes in the city of Volvo. Also code, my phone number. Uh, yes, <clears throat> tax information, it's my VAT number. Uh, next, perhaps it's with the DK for Denmark. Uh, okay, so yeah, it says, that's also some one thing, it says this, that it, it cannot validate the VAT <clears throat> number. <clears throat> I haven't been able to validate the VAT number here in IBM Cloud. I don't know why they don't. 
you can continue registering and we'll validate the VAT number at a later time. Okay, I click next. Okay, credit card information. I will fill in my credit card information. And I'll click pause while I do it for obvious reasons. Let me just uh, click pause in the recording. All right, so I uh, entered my credit card information and uh, I actually I got this error. <clears throat> error could not place order. Problem authorizing the credit card. We were unable to process your request. Transaction rejected. Please contact Cloud Trust Enablement at verifyusibm.com for further information. And then I get this code. And I have tried this many times now and I get this error each time, no matter what card I use and no matter how I try to go through the sign-up process. And IBM Cloud is special in this regard. So uh, what you need to do, so here's the trick. What you need to do is you need to go to uh, Google again, IBM Cloud. Uh, and then there's a phone number that you need to call actually. Um, here, IBM Cloud Support. What I did was I actually called them on the phone. I found a phone number here somewhere. Let me see if I can find it. Du, 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 du. Let me just click pause and then look for it. All right, I'm back again. I found the uh, a telephone number that you can yeah, that you can try to call. I searched for IBM Cloud Support number and I got this number here plus one eight six six four three seven six three eight <clears throat> so what you need to do is that you need to um you need to call the the support the hotline and uh, and then you need to um, tell them about the error that you got your email and then they'll tell you exactly what to do what you need to do in order to get approved because uh, it seems that uh, ibm is special in the way that you need to get manual approval somehow so it worked for me after i called them i uh, got my account approved and uh, yeah so that's basically basically what you need to do guys so uh, i don't have any further information for the setup video of the cloud accounts um, except that um, this is what you need to do call the number or you could also go to ibm.com slash ibm id slash my IBM slash help slash us slash helpdesk.html this address up here and then there are a lot of phone numbers that you can actually call uh, I called the American hotline and they helped me out so uh, that was the video for the IBM cloud account setup I hope you make it through guys and uh, let's see you in the next video bye